Hi guys, Jamie here, and today I'm going to be talking you through my top five business, property, and entrepreneurial YouTube channels slash podcasts. Before I do that, if you could please hit like and subscribe, that would be really, really appreciated. I've had a mad couple of days on the channel. Uh, over 56,000 of you have liked the living room transformation that I put up. Uh, the Christmas living room transformation and I'm going to be doing a few more of those shorts over the coming weeks just because they're nice really easy digestible content sort of 20 second videos um, so yeah it's going to be a few more of those as well as this longer form sort of content okay right let's get started so these YouTube channels and podcasts they are really my what I really go to to get information, to be sort of like informed, inspired, just to give me a bit of a different perspective on things when it comes to, to property and also to entrepreneurial events, entrepreneurial experiments, business ideas, you know, just different things, okay? All right, so in no particular order, the first one I'm gonna talk about, it's called My First Million. It's presented by two guys, uh, Sam Parr and Sean Puri. They're American. Um, it's an American podcast. They get guests on the show, like multi, multi, multi millionaires, billionaires, to talk about all things business. And it's great. It's just two, two guys, sort of in their early 30s, just spitballing ideas about business ideas. It's called My First Million, but to be honest with you, both of those are multimillionaires in their own right. So it's less about my first million and more about building towards my first billion, I guess. Um, so that's really cool. Getting ideas from across the pond is also great um, because they're just that much further ahead in terms of tech. Like a lot of the content they have on there is quite techy. They talk about cryptos. They were talking about NFTs before they became sort of more of a, a mainstream idea over here. Um, so that that's a really good one. My first million with all of these guys, I'll stick uh, a link in the description so you can see and go and have a look at them if you like. The second one is a guy called James Sinclair, who's got his own YouTube channel and also podcast. Let's see if I can say this properly. It's the James Sinclair's business broadcast podcast. I think I got it all in. Um, he's really, really interesting guy. I'll be honest, the first time I discovered his YouTube channel, he, he comes from uh, a background of being a children's entertainer. So some of his early videos are quite like exciting and hand gestures and, and almost a bit over the top. And I was a bit sort of sceptical. I was like, where's this going? But very, very, very solid content. He is a business owner. Uh, he owns a lot of commercial property, which he talks about. He gives detailed breakdowns of figures in his videos uh, as part of his sort of like business plan, if you like. He buys businesses that fold into his existing empire, which is sort of an, which is sort of, um, an obvious concept, but also one that no one really talks about. And it's quite easy to go off track if you're looking if you're looking um, to buy businesses or add businesses into ones you've already got. For example, he's got loads of children's play centres. I think he's got over 10 children's play centres. And he has recently bought um, this ice cream company called Rossi Ice Cream. So he sells that ice cream in his play centres. And he's doing the same with coffee. I think he's got Rossi Coffee as well. So all of the coffee that he sells in his play centres um they're they're rossy coffee so everything sort of like helps you know the right hand washes the left if you will good analogy the third one is a guy called mark tilbury now i actually came across james sinclair's channel by watching the mark tilbury videos because he james sinclair did a video uh interview with mark tilbury saying exposing uh mark tilbury exposed and i'd already watched a load of Mark Tilbury's content and I was like what do you mean exposed this guy's legit but it was very clever wording on his part because it actually got me into watching James Sinclair's channel but back to Mark Tilbury he's a guy 
I uh, don't know what exactly how old he is, maybe like late 50s, early 60s, always refers to himself as a boomer, as in baby boomer, baby boomer generation. Multimillionaire, made his money uh, originally, I believe, through toy models. So sort of like model play, like aeroplanes, helicopters, other model toys. Um, very, very knowledgeable guy. And he sort of dedicates his time now on his YouTube channel to giving out good business advice, uh, especially if you're just getting started. So decent investment advice, business advice, all the stuff really that young people should be taught in schools instead of algebra, but they're not being taught. Uh, Mark Tilbury provides that information for free. He does it in quite a like quirky manner. His production value is, is really good. 100% um, worth the watch, especially if you're just getting started and you don't quite understand investments and stocks and other business ideas because he will break it down in very simple format. He's also started doing um, another channel. I think it's called Like Father, Like Son, which is him and his son, Curtis. And they uh, spitball ideas between them. The sort of USP, unique selling point of that channel is that Mark is obviously getting on in years. He doesn't mind me saying so. And then Curtis is sort of in his early 20s. So they talk, talk very honestly about their different opinions on ideas. And he also talks a lot about crypto as well. Um, so if you're interested in crypto or, or new style of investments, then definitely check out Mark Tilbury's channel. Number four, this is for the property investors, interest, people who are really interested in property specifically. So this is nothing about other businesses, nothing about stocks, shares, crypto, NFTs, nothing like that. This is the property podcast. Very simply named, but it does what it says on the tin. Again, two guys, uh, Rob D and Rob B. Not sure even their real names. Don't really care what their real names are, but they're called Rob B and Rob D. Uh, they have done hundreds of episodes on uh, this. I listen to the podcast, so I don't watch the YouTube channel, but there is one, um, the Property Podcast, and there's everything on there from very basics of what people write in, what should I do with my 100K? How should I invest my 100K in property? What's the best areas to buy? You know, why have the Bank of England put their rate, base rate up? Everything. And um, they talk a lot, a really interesting concept that they talk about is called the 18 year property cycle, which is a school of thought that I sort of subscribe to as well. Uh, I'll maybe do a video on it, but they describe it really well in their on their channel. Um, again, I do a lot of driving, so I like to listen to it on the podcast, but the YouTube channel is equally as good, and I believe it's the same content for each. And the fifth one. This is a bit of an outsider, I'll be honest, but something, uh, a channel that I discovered quite recently, which is really cool, uh, is called Debt to Millionaire, and he actually, the guy who does it, young guy, sort of early 20s, mid 20s, he actually gave me the sort of impetus to, to pull my finger out and, and crack on with this channel uh, after watching one of his videos. So he put up um, a video all about how he had been on a property training course with a very well-known property trainer and how he wasn't financially free based on that course. Obviously, it got loads of views and he's since done videos off the back of that uh, relating to, to property and his journey. He's really interesting guy, uh, came from a background where he was in debt quite badly from gambling, um, did some videos about how to, how to break that habit, and now he's documenting his journey on becoming a millionaire. So he's a really good one, debt to millionaire. Uh, just going back slightly to James Sinclair's business broadcast podcast, uh, the YouTube channel describes all of his businesses, but his podcast is actually a different follows a different trail you there's business owners who go on there so this could be anybody who's got a property portfolio they are running an electrical business surveyors accountants anybody like that and they actually pick his brains uh, on how to expand their own businesses and he's quite direct 
quite severe in some cases, uh, asking them the questions that nobody else would and probably speaking to them in a way that they're not used to getting spoken to. So that's a really, that's a really good one, especially if you're interested in building your own business. All of these guys that I like to watch on my top five, they're, the, they're my go-to. And the reason being is that they've either done it before, well, in terms of the first four I talked about, they've all done it before. Um, you know, they're all multimillionaires off their own back. They've worked hard and they've got there. In terms of number five, I like how honest he is and that he's actually trying to go on a similar journey that I'm going on, but he's further ahead. Um, so, yeah, I like that. And I like the honesty that they've got on the channels as well. You know, it's a, it's a no bullshit channels. They, they tell it how it is. If there's someone who in the field is not doing it, they'll mention those as well. They'll call them out. Uh, so that's the reason that I like them. And also, what I find fascinating is if you immerse yourself in the ideas that these guys have, it can really give you a different perspective on the way that you're viewing business, property, life. Um, you know, there's an old saying, isn't there? Do what you've always done and you get what you've always got. If you only ever speak to the same people you went to school with, your parents, uh, your family, you, you operate in the same circle, then the likelihood is you're just going to go in the same direction as everybody else. And that's fine for some people. But for other people who want to push on in a different direction, explore new ideas, um, go on their own journey, are more entrepreneurial, want to break the nine to five, then getting advice sound advice from people who have been there have trodden the path before you is so so important and i think in this day and age there's no excuse not to get that knowledge it's so easily accessible imagine that we're here 50 years ago and we have to go and read books by you know people who've written them 50 years before that newspapers stuff there's not you don't have access to that information back in the day. Whereas now we can go online or oh, what Warren Buffett's done a YouTube video. Oh, one of the best investors in the world. Let's look at that. All right. The property podcast guys, they're doing it every day. They live and breathe property and they're giving you their information for free. Um, so I think that's really important. Also a special mention uh, to another YouTube channel. Um, Another podcast, sorry, it's not a YouTube channel. It's called How to Take Over the World, which is not as sinister as it seems. But there's a guy called the, called Ben uh, who does these quite sporadically. He's not done that many of them. I think he's only done about six or eight episodes. Uh, but he will take a person from history, usually, like Alexander the Great, for example, and he'll sort of deep dive into their lives and pick out the bits that he thinks help them to take over the world in their own way. Uh, he's done episodes on the Rothschilds family, which I knew nothing about. Uh, Alexander the Great, uh, Philip, Alexander's dad, Vladimir Putin, uh, all different all different people like that. So and that's just really interesting to get a historical perspective because a lot of the, like, the thoughts and feelings and experiences that we have now, we think are unique to us in this time, whereas in actual fact, they're thousands of years old. There's many, many people uh, before you and I who have gone on that journey. So um, that's a really good one. Special mention, How to Take Over the World podcast. Again, guys, please hit like and subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope, hopefully it's given you a little bit of information that you can sort of take back, uh, add into your own lives, pick and choose who you like. Um, some British guys on there, some Americans, you know, just pick the best bits as and when. Thanks very much for liking this video, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate your time and I'll see you soon.